it's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Pass the Flight, Shoot Flight, Flex Luger. Call me what you want, but can't play the boy broke. They should I'm be rich in Christ, man. Back with another video as usual. If you have already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So we rock with the flight crew. You don't have fun. Before we get started, I want to send a message out. I told y'all I'm coming for the early review crown. So make sure you follow me on IG, Flight Academy, underscore kicks with a Z. Boy, Mr. Flight Academy kicks, aka Pastor Flight, Shove Flight, Flex Luger, get, uh, I'm about to say game, <laughs> Candyman, goes all those great days, call me what you want, can't call your boy broke, cause I am rich and Christ man, back with another video for y'all today, and if you have not already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, right now, hit the subscribe button, man, listen, we going up, and it's a great thing to be part of the flight crew, because over here we drop nothing but dope videos, man. A lot of early videos, y'all will get access to all that, man. So make sure that you subscribe and you tap in, because we moving up over here, man. And as well as, if you have not already, follow me on IG, Flight Academy underscore Kicks with a Z, as well as follow my store page, Flight Academy Kicks, L-A-L, was Flight Academy Kicks underscore L-A-L. But I am here with another early Review like I promise y'all. But I want to give you the disclaimer. This may be the ugliest shoe we have ever seen. Now, it is just my opinion. Y'all know that when we do the reviews, we give our opinions on it. We give you different details to look at on the actual sneakers. So you never can take our word for it fully. You just take what we say, use it as you see fit, and then you make your own judgment on whether you want the shoe. I don't want to sway anybody in decision. But I'm telling you right now, I think this shoe's ugly, and we're going to review it. It might be uglier than the Chlorophyll 3s, man, and that was a little ugly shoe. Even though prices are going up on those, that was an ugly shoe, man. But here we are, right here, man. Shadow Bat Boy Retro 5s, man. Y'all see them here, you know what I'm saying? Now, look, first thing, y'all know we've been talking about it constantly. I love when they switch up the boxes on the Jordans. They didn't even do that for this one. They really treated this shoe like the ugly stepchild. They were just like, just put them in the original box. We're good. Just put them in that box. We're good. They didn't want to put an orange jump man right here. You know, he could at least did the orange jump man. That would at least did something. But let's read the colorway on this one. It says, um, sale orange blaze. This is a men's size 11 and Jordan 5 retro. This is retail at 190 These are dropping on September the 25th in a Full South Family one. So without further ado, let's get to the shoe. Here we have it, y'all. The Shadow Bat Boy Retro 5s. Yes, it is here live in the flesh, okay? So let's go ahead and review the shoe and let's talk about it a little bit. So here on the outer sole, you know what I'm saying? You got your, your red jump man that's always going to be there. You know what I'm saying? You got the translucent going around to the top, to the mid. You got that shattered backboard with that orange blaze coloring with the speckles on the shark teeth on the actual Retro 5 with the blacks. Then you have that leather. Now, if you're asking what type of leather is on this shoe flight, it is the same leather that is on the Fire Red 5s. The same exact leather that's on the Fire Red 5s is what you have on this shoe. So you're going around to the mid, to the back of the heel badge. You got your black Jumpman logo going around to the side. You got that mesh. And even up by your sock line on the back of the heel badge, you have that mesh touching on there. And I want y'all to get a close look at that mesh because I'm telling you right now, that is a big issue for me. Toe box, just straight leather going straight down, which is white laces. That Jumpman is in blaze orange. Yep, that is popping. I do love the tongue on this one, Pauls. And as well as on your lace locks, you have that black. And I don't know if y'all can see that orange, right? Let me let me get y'all a real good picturing of that. There you go. So y'all see, boom, there you go. Clear as ever, man. That's that 4K visual for y'all just popping out your screen. Now, I actually was talking with one of my customers early, and he told me, that this shoe look like a Team Jordan, okay? He said, it don't look like no Retro 5. It looks like a Team Jordan. And I bust out laughing. But the more and more I look at this shoe, I can see what he coming. It actually, you know, no disrespect to Reebok, okay? No disrespect to Reebok. But it looked like it was something that was created by Reebok. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just saying, bro. It looked like the, the Shaq shoes that were created by Reebok. That, that mesh on that upper just throwing... 
me all the way off, bro. I don't like that mesh whatsoever. And I know the mesh is going to be on the inside, but that, this right here is what is really throwing me for this shoe. And why it almost resembles uh, a Team Jordan, like a Chris Paul shoe or something. Uh, shout out to Snipe, man. That's his, that's his favorite player. But I don't know. I want to know in the comment section right now, what do y'all think about this mesh right here, man? I feel like, like I said, I feel like this is what's really, like, not letting me uh, embrace the shoe. Like, really, like, all right, cool. This, this is what we're going with. This is the thing that's holding me back, man. This mesh on the top part right here is just not doing it for me. Now, the inside does have the orange and black. Y'all see it popping. But let's talk about the shoe for a second. I think out of the whole Shadow Backboard family, this may be the ugliest shoe out of all of them. No cap. This may be the ugliest shoe. Now, a lot of y'all were uh, hating on the retro ones, the first ones, the Shadow Back Boys that dropped. I actually like those. And I like the other pair that just dropped. I have those too. I may do a review, I may not. But I have those. I like those a lot. But this one right here is just not doing it for me, bro. I'm telling you, this is Team Jordan vibes all day, and I can't get with it. But some of you actually may like it. I know some of y'all have made comments like, yeah, I actually like those, bro. Power to you, man. Like I said, my comments and my opinion on the shoe is simply just mine and I own the ownership of that. But you could very well see this shoe in a different light and say, you know what? I got a drip or something I can put together that I support what this shoe look like. But for me, my brothers and sisters, cats and dolls, girls and boys, I can't do with this right here. I just can't do it, man. Like I said, I really wish they wouldn't have did this up right here. It gives you that real, real retro look. Um, when I look at this shoe, it gives me juice vibes. It gives me white man can't jump vibes. Like, you know, I, I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I'm just not rocking with it too much. Now, no cap. I think these will hit the outlet. Now, if they hit the outlet in my size there, I'm going to grab a pair now. You know what I'm saying? All right. I ain't going to turn them down for like $90 or 120 Definitely will grab them, but only at the outlet. I can't see myself actually going and purchasing a pair of these. I just don't see it. With that being said, I think they may actually sit. But who knows? Because shoes are tricky. Sometimes we may think shoes won't sit. And, you know, we may think shoes will sit. And they be done sold out. And everybody looking for them. But I just can't get with that. I, I mean, it, I, I see the retro in it. So from that part, I can respect. But I just can't get with it. I can't wang with this one, man. I can't wang with this one. And I do like on the back. I'm actually telling they got... They got to be dazzled and jump for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You see the Air Jordans be dazzled for you. So shout out to y'all that want that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I feel like they should have did more of just a solid black around the upper and the mid of the actual shoe. Had hints of like this, the, the orange blades. With keeping the speckles. You know, we always rock with the speckles on the shark teeth. But just like, you know, did a little bit more, man. Like I said, I know it paid homage to Jordan um, from the 85 game in Italy when he, when he shot at the backboard. But this one, I just... I can't get with them. At this point, they could have just put a Spalding ball right here instead of the Jumpman logo, man. I, I don't know. But y'all let me know in the comment section right now. Don't let me steer you away from buying this shoe if you like it. Like I said, this is my opinion, how I feel. Now, I do like that the, the mesh almost kind of gives me the basketball net vibe a tad bit. But even that's pushing it a little bit. That's just me trying to find something positive to say about it. That's all I can really get from it, man. But I want to know in the comment section what y'all think, Flight Crew. Do y'all think I'm tripping? And y'all actually rocking with these? Let me know. Let me give y'all a good visual up close so y'all can see this, man. I'm just giving you my opinions on the actual shoe. But y'all let me know what you thinking. How you feeling? Because I can't get jiggy with this, bro. Just can't get jiggy with it. So y'all let me know in the comment section right now. Man, look, y'all comment, like, share, all these great things with this video. Let's run these views up, man. Let's run it up. Uh, like I said, we're on the road to 100K. We're going to keep going until we get there. Ain't no stopping no time soon. So please make sure that you tune in with the video. Tap in with me and let me know. But y'all tell me something. I just gave my opinion on it. So y'all tell me what y'all think, man. But until next time, man, you know how we rocking, man. You know the slogan. Take flight with the flies. If you ain't flying me, just ain't flying right. Hustle and motivate, lone little nil, baby. And we out.